for supper tonight. We're going to have uh, deer loin um, wrapped in bacon. Check it out. Uh, I'll show you what it's all about. Um, I'm not sure if a bulldog's coming or not. I haven't heard from him. He was here early, early this morning. Uh, obviously, he didn't get his uh, deer yet. And uh, I'm not sure where he's at. I'll have to. I'm sure he'll hunt till dark. He's going to try to get one with a muzzle loader. So. Bulldog just called, and uh, he's coming tonight too. So it'll be uh, River Ranger and Bulldog and I will be having some uh, deer steak, deer loin steak. We'll be wrapped in bacon and uh, seasoned properly. You'll have to check that out. This is deer tenderloin. Nice little chunks. Bacon. You wrap these bacon around here, stick toothpicks through. Adolph's meat tenderizer, no MSG, unseasoned. Sprinkle it generously across the top. Flip it over. these in a Ziploc baggie or you can cover them on a tray, put them on a plate and stick them in the refrigerator. Oh, about anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour or, or any, any, no less than 20 minutes before you, you're going to cook them. Onion, mushrooms, Worcestershire sauce, garlic sauce. We saute that in there. Serve that along the side of our, or on top of your deer steak. Did you saute that in olive oil? Olive oil. Then I put olive oil in the pan. That's some cook on TV the other day saying. Not olive oil. It has to be extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> so what do we have here now, Bill? This is deer steak. Uh, this is a deer loin. This here is a couple pieces of catfish. We have a small. You've heard of deer catfish? Deer catfish. Yeah. Yeah. The inside loin. The most tender part. The most overlooked piece of meat in the entire deer. And then we have the uh, deer filet mignons. <laughs> we cut them just... We call it mignon. <laughs> mignon. <laughs> mignon. Bill Gowdy's mignon. That's right. Yeah, but you spicily prepared those somehow, didn't you? Well, I wrapped them in bacon. 
and then I uh, used Adolf meat tenderizer, sprinkled generously on the top, at least 20 minutes before you cook. I think it could be longer if you let it marinate in that. I put it in a plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator and let it uh, just, you know, uh, get that flavor and mm -hmm. become tender. And it's, it, it says that it's not seasoned, but it definitely adds a flavor to the. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can see it. That's beyond good. <clears throat> Those steaks oh, are yeah. pink in the middle. Just you can't right. get this anywhere. Yeah? No. Well, I want to tell you. I have a friend on the internet. He's uh, called the Cichlid Geek. But his, we call him Pally is his nickname. And he's the one that gives Bill and I a hard time about uh, deep frying uh, tenderloin, beef tenderloin. And uh, because he would not ever think of cooking a piece of meat like that and uh, he said he would roast it and serve it with wine I just wanted him to see my glass of wine that I'm about to have with that uh, piece of meat right there this for you Pally right there it is salad baked potato some wine onions and mushrooms on the side mm. That is good. Pally, here's to you, buddy. Good red wine with my venison steak. Excellent. Thanks for the uh, tip. <laughs> I don't always drink beer. <laughs> but when I don't, I drink Carl Rossi. Sangria. A man about the world. Mm. I don't always drink beer, but mostly I do. <laughs> <laughs> I almost always drink beer. Only occasionally drink wine when Pally makes me. <laughs> mm. Man, that's good.